Eye on the Future video contest winners, Mark Leschinski, Science in Your Future. Leschinski speaks to the camera, standing next to a mannequin dressed in a hazmat suit. Hi, my name is Mark Leschinski. Healthcare workers are our heroes. They help us in the most difficult situations when we're sick. But during the past several years, we've seen firsthand how healthcare workers have risked their lives and even died while fighting against the Ebola epidemic and now COVID-19. The World Health Organization estimates that between 80,000 and 180,000 healthcare workers worldwide could have died from COVID-19 in the period between January 2020 and May 2021. And that's why the invention in the future that we owe to healthcare workers is a better hazmat suit, one that can save their lives. When I was just eight years old in 2014, I saw how healthcare workers were risking their lives to care for patients with Ebola. And so I decided to do something about it. Eight-year-old Leschinski sews pockets into a hazmat suit. Leschinski accepts an award. I invented a self-disinfecting hazmat suit for healthcare workers, which I then received a United States patent for in 2016. U.S. patent number 9392824 b one July 19, 2016. Figure 5 of the patent shows a suit with liquid pockets in the arms, legs, and chest, a squeeze bulb on the right side. Existing protective suits are single-use and disposable. And this means that healthcare workers have to change them in between patients and when they want to take a break multiple times a day. And this imposes a great risk of infection. My suit is unique because it comprises a plurality of pockets covered by a porous external layer. Each pocket contains a disinfecting solution, such as bleach, and applying compression to the flexible chamber of the pocket, Lashinsky squeezes the bulb and liquid seeps through the outer layer of the hazmat suit, such as by inflation of adjacent inflatable chambers, causes pressurization of the disinfecting solution and forces the solution to flow from the pockets across and through the porous external layer and ultimately spread over the external surface of the garment to kill pathogens. My novel suit offers several benefits. First, it reduces the risk of the healthcare worker being infected. This is because the healthcare worker does not have to touch the suit multiple times as would be in the usual one as compared to this new invention. Benefits of self-disinfecting hazmat suit. Second person not necessary to help with suit removal. This eliminates risk of that person becoming infected. Because suit will be disinfected and free of pathogens, working time in suit could be extended. Problems with existing hazmat suits. One, healthcare workers get infected with viruses despite wearing conventional hazmat suits. Two, infections frequently occur during the removal of suit by touching the infected suit. Three, a second person, a partner, is needed to help the healthcare worker remove an infected suit. Four, the procedure to remove an infected suit is very long, complicated, and requires special training. Five, a time limit to work in a suit is only about 30 minutes because of the increased risk of infection. Additionally, existing suits have to be discarded after one use, and since they're made of plastic, they pose a great threat to the environment. My suit is reusable and therefore can be sustainably used many times. My goal for the next 20 years is to create a future where healthcare workers can safely care for patients with contagious diseases without having to worry about risking their own lives. The invention of a better hazmat suit for healthcare workers contributes to health equity by protecting those who are on the front lines of treating patients with contagious diseases. In the future, in 20 years, I truly hope to see with my own eyes innovative personal protective equipment manufactured to protect healthcare workers so that they don't have to risk their lives when helping others. National Eye Institute, nei.nih.gov slash eye on the future.